Patient tested positive for herpetic encephalitis. So what's that tell us? Her immune system is severely compromised. Oh, I know. Prednisone compromises the immune system. Isn't that the medicine that you gave her for that thing she doesn't have? Yeah, that... Hey. I'm thinking that's a trick question. Her immune system is severely compromised. Two doses of prednisone wouldn't do that. Are you hanging your diagnosis on an adverb? In 10 seconds, I'm going to announce that I gave the wrong dose in the clinic. You're going to admit negligence? Unless you leave the room. If you stay, you'll have to testify. Five, four, three, two. So there I was, in the clinic, drunk. I opened the drawer, closed my eyes, take the first syringe I can find. So, what are the options for compromised immune system? Mixed connective tissue disease. It did explain why she was feeling better on the prednisone. Sure, she was feeling better right up to the moment it almost killed her. On the other hand, it explains the symptoms. Swollen hands, pulmonary problems, cardiac problems, it all fits. Except her ANA was normal. So redraw the blood. But the treatment is corticosteroids, prednisone. And we can't go there because of the encephalitis. Then we'll treat it with something that modulates the immune system but doesn't suppress it. Hyperbaric oxygen chamber. There's no protocol for putting a patient in a high-pressure oxygen room to treat autoimmune problems. Oh, you people always with the protocols. Prep the nun and discontinue the prednisone. I am both amused and annoyed that you think I should be less stubborn than you are. You are aware of the Hippocratic Oath, right? It starts first, do no harm, then goes on to tell us no abortions, no seductions, and definitely no cutting of those who labor beneath the stone. Yeah, took a read once, wasn't impressed. Hyperbaric treatments could cause oxygen toxicity, lung and eye damage. Every treatment has its dangers. Which is why we only treat if we're convinced the patient actually needs the treatment. I'm convinced. You're not. Question is, what are you going to do about it? Hmm? I have an opening Thursday at 3. Do you have a fourth? Is he any good? Uh, can I call you right back? Okay. What's up? The pressure will force the oxygen into your system, saturate your blood. It will enhance white cell activity, reduce the inflammation. And that will help with this mixed connective tissue disease? We'll be doing about 10 treatments and then we'll reevaluate. The last treatment with prednisone causes seizures, right? How confident is Dr. House about this? That you reacted so strongly to the prednisone and let us know that you had an underlying problem with your immune system. I guess it was a blessing of sorts. Mixed connective tissue disease? Her ANA is barely elevated. Well, thanks for checking up on her. Good to know you got my back. O2 sats down to 83. Pulmonary problems, breathing problems. Irritation from the oxygen is typical. She comes in with a rash and you put her into cardiac arrest. Yeah, that well just never runs dry, does it? If there was no underlying problem, why is she still having a rapid heart rate? Maybe from the herpetic encephalitis caused by you giving her Her reaction is a symptom, not an error. There's always an explanation, isn't there? Yes, there is. And if this one doesn't work, we'll find another. But never one involving you screwing up. One that fits all the facts. Look. We obviously have a difference of opinion, and that's fine. But unfortunately, I've used up all the time I budgeted today for banging my head against a wall. I'm going to do you the biggest favor one doctor can do for another. I'm going to stop you from killing your patient. You're off the case. We're gonna treat the symptoms. Not the underlying condition? There is no underlying condition. What's her status? The sister's breathing is labored. Pneumonitis from the hyperbaric chamber put her on 40% oxygen until her O2 sats increase. BUN and creatinine's rising, ALT and AST twice the normal range. Could be from the hypotensive episode. Let's follow them with labs. She still has the rash and joint pain she came in with. Order a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. When we were looking at the differential diagnosis with Dr. House, we were considering- I don't need to hear what Dr. House was considering. All of this woman's symptoms can be traced to Dr. House's considerations. Okay. Let's just get this patient healthy. I want her going out the front door and not the back. Hey, it's not like I betrayed him. Cuddy would have found out about the hyperbaric treatments eventually. You did what you felt you had to.
Can't get enough of this place, huh? Came from my stethoscope. So I shouldn't read too much into the fact that you were looking for it in the drawer with the epinephrine syringes in it? Okay. Yeah. I'd like to clear my reputation. Oh, right. I forgot how much you care about what people think. Prescribing cigarettes for inflammatory bowel? It's, uh, it causes lung cancer, you know. You know why they have ribbons for breast cancer, colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, and not for lung cancer? They ran out of colors? It's because people blame lung cancer patients. They smoked, they screwed up, they deserve to die. The reason people die from lung cancer is guilt. Huh. Well, guilt does a lot of damage. You said that with great significance. You're not here to find your stethoscope. You're not here to clear your reputation. You're here because you're having doubts. You might have screwed up. I'm here because if I'm right, Cuddy is killing that patient. Okay. But if you're wrong... Then she's saving her. Fine. You're gonna have to go through every record of every patient who's been through this clinic in the last two days. And you're gonna have to hope that those records can be trusted. Which, by the way, yours can't. Local herbs? Any change with the medication? Yes, she's getting worse. Lung function's deteriorating, but UN and creditin continuing to rise. She's starting to run a fever and the rash is spreading. At this rate, she's not gonna make Christmas. Maybe House was right. Maybe there is an underlying condition that explains the symptoms, something we haven't considered. Like what? It could be a metabolic disorder. Specifically? Like a genetic. Specifically? I'm just saying You're just that... saying you think House is right. I might be right. Of course it might be right. It might be the hand of God at work. Don't say it's something else unless you've got something concrete to offer. What's this, hemlock? I'm gonna do you the biggest favor one doctor can do another. I'm gonna stop you from killing your patient. It's fig wort tea. Wait for that little pick-me-up we're all looking for in the morning. Opens the lungs, increases the blood pressure, stimulates the heart. Unfortunately, if you then get injected with even 0.1 cc of epinephrine, instant cardiac arrest. Still, what the hell, it tastes great. Sister Augustine. Has been drinking it religiously, so to speak. Take the cardiac arrest out of the equation. All the rest of the symptoms can be explained by a severe long-term allergic reaction. Well, that's what Cameron said in the beginning. Yes, she did. Well done. But your unwillingness to stick by your diagnosis almost killed this woman. Take a lesson from Foreman. Stand up for what you believe. <laughs>